Hello, people of the internet. We are back once again, but this time for part three of the how to compile a ROM from source tutorial. Today we'll be installing the dependencies and the repo client that you'll need to sync up with all those sources and get ready to start compiling ROMs yourself. So the first thing we'll need to do, actually, the first thing I'll need to do is look at my show notes. So here we go. You'll have to compile you'll have to copy and paste this very long command in there that will install all the dependencies that you need this part I'm not sure if I included every single one you need because I likely have forgotten about some so if if it says something's missing just post it in the comments I'll be able to fix it eventually so after you get copy and paste this in just press enter and you'll see that mine says everything here is all the newest version because it is the newest version I just installed this a couple days ago so you're I'm good to go but yours will probably be over around 500 megabytes of source so that's how it is and the next thing just copy and paste this command this will also not not be necessary for me because I've already done it Say failed create a symbolic link because the file exists, and it does. And even all of this will all be the same. I've already done it, so copy and paste that in. File exists. And right now we're just installing the repo, the thing that will help us sync up with all the sources. And there we have it. We've completed all this part, and now we're going to download source from Cyanogen Mod. We're gonna go get their new CM11 test branch and use that. So, let's go. Here, let me go to their site. Uh, Cyanogen Mod. As you can see, they have all of their stuff. They have almost a thousand repos. It's a very big project. Their stuff is very nice. And if you go here to slash Android, you can see all of the branches that they have. And we'll be looking at this CM11 branch right now. But, and to sync up, actually first we'll have to create a folder where we're gonna download all the source to. So I'll just do mkdire for make directory, and the tilde thing, the slash, and then cyanogen mod. I'll just put a folder called Cyanogen Mod at the base of my system. You press LS. There you have it. Cyanogen Mod right there. We'll just change directories into that Cyanogen Mod. Press LS. There's nothing in there. Good stuff. And then we're just going to initiate the client in here. It'll probably ask you for your name and a Gmail account. So yeah, there we have it. Um, yeah, this is another email that I just like to use just for this purpose. And yep, that is my identity. And then you're good to go pretty much. You're ready to sync up with sources. Just type repo sync. You can also do it based on the number of cores you have in your computer you can add a dash j so if you have a dual core machine like I do you can just put dash j4 because you can run two processes or more on per core I'm just gonna leave it a repo sync and it'll get to pick how many cores it'll use it'll probably should only use two but that's fine with me and just press enter and then sit back and wait three hours or however long it takes for yours to sync up and I'll show you what my network is now doing there we go we now have down of 1.9 megabytes per second and that's about it so I'll see you guys next time take care everybody